Today I'm showing you seven different gel blasters that are great for wars in your backyard, but they aren't cheap. Let's get into it. This is called the Lightning Blaster. I think it's made by the same brand that makes Splatterball, but I might be wrong about that. So this thing has safety, it has single shot fire, and it has fully automatic settings. It has a fold open buttstock, which you just press this button right here, and it folds right open, so it's super convenient, super awesome. The one cool thing about this gel blaster is, obviously, it tells it in the name, the Lightning Blaster. So when you turn this thing on and you fire it, you actually get that lightning look. The, the LEDs in there light up. So lots of space for attachments and customization of this gel blaster. The actual release of the magazine is pretty cool. I like it when they have that thumb release right there where it's just like super convenient and easy. Uh, the trigger pull is actually pretty, pretty nice. It feels pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel like those cheap plastic guns at all. So I definitely would say the price for this gel blaster is totally worth it. The FPS for this gel blaster is coming in around 180 to 200. So the FPS is actually pretty nice. This is the Unlox 4-in-1 gel blaster. This gel blaster is a modular gel blaster. And what I mean by that is you can change it around. So you could take this buttstock off and you can take the front end off and you can make a pistol out of it. You can make a different type of rifle out of it. It just has several different looks, which is a really cool thing about this gel blaster. This gel blaster only comes in fully automatic so sometimes I do like to switch to semi-automatic so that way I can conserve my ammo. Uh, speaking of ammo it goes into this giant magazine right here and this magazine can hold about 500 rounds of gelettes in it and it fires pretty smoothly. This gel blaster is definitely a lot of fun to play with. It reminds me of a halo rifle. Uh, it doesn't have really any special features but it does have a rail here and a rail on this side and then it has your rail on the top for like scopes and stuff like that very solid made it's made out of a very strong plastic i feel like if i drop this gel blaster it'd be fine this is how much it costs right there and again i believe that this gel blaster is definitely worth that price for the fps on this thing you're looking at between 200 and 230 feet per second so it's a pretty powerful gel blaster again for the price it's amazing. I would definitely recommend getting the Unlocks 4-in-1 and adding it to your arsenal of gel blasters. As far as the paint tests go for these gel blasters, I've gotten shot several times by all of these gel blasters. These are the most powerful gel blasters that I own, and that's why I picked these gel blasters, because during a war, you want to make sure the opponent can feel when they get hit. And if you're interested to see what it looks like and what it feels like, basically these are the red dots that pop up. They have a little bit of swelling to them, because most of these gel blasters are over 200 FPS. But yeah, that's basically what you're going to look like after you get shot with these things. This is the SRB500. It's made by Splatterball and the SRB stands for Splatterball. It's SRB. So SRB 500 comes with this magazine right here, which holds 500 rounds in it, which is pretty typical of the gel blasters I'm showing you today. But the reason I chose this gun is because you can buy this upgraded 1200 round magazine right here. It's a drum magazine, obviously, it's really cool. You can fill this thing up with 1200 gel lads and you are good to go for several rounds. You can buy this gel blaster at Walmart. This is how much it costs. The FPS is looking at between 200 and 250. This gel blaster has semi-automatic, automatic, and the safety, so that's really cool. You gotta love when they have all three options like that. The battery goes right here on the bottom of this gel blaster. It is a big battery. This is a 1300 Ma 7.4 volt battery that goes inside this gel blaster and powers it. All of these gel blasters were fully powered up when we did the FPS, so you can ensure that the FPS is at the most powerful it can actually get. The other reason I like gel blasters like this is because you can replace the battery. Something like the Unlocks gel blaster where you have to plug the battery cord into the gun, it's uh, kind of different because you can't just replace the battery and keep going. You actually have to stop the game to repower your gel blaster and then go back to playing. Basically, the reason I chose this is because you're getting over 200 FPS and you can get 1200 rounds. That is freaking amazing. So a uh, gel blaster from Walmart that you can just walk into the store and buy great deal once again let's take a look at another gel blaster ladies and gentlemen this is the pulsar hydro strike it's probably by far the most attractive gel blaster as far as like colors go definitely draws the eye in i like this gel blaster it feels cool i would say between 200 and 280 fps this is a really good gel blaster for the buy you can also buy this one at walmart this is how much it costs one of the more affordable kind of medium powerful gel blasters here 
It comes with these two uh, slidable like sights on the top here. They're basically like iron sights. I like them, but uh, they seem to move around a little too much. I've actually dropped this one a couple of times while I'm running. I do like the fact that it has semi-automatic, fully automatic, and safe. I love gel blasters that come with all three options. Um, the trigger pull is pretty nice. The mag release, again, you have this thumb release right here. Oh, a couple of Orbeez dropped out but you had that thumb release, which makes it really easy and it's smooth to put in, smooth to take out. You can feel it clicks in very strongly. The rail on top, you can actually take these pieces off if you wanted, and then you could replace it with your own scope or whatever, but that's the only rail on the gel blaster to speak of. There's really no way to change this gel blaster around except for putting things on the top and maybe like painting it or something like that. Uh, let's talk about the battery real quick. We'll take that out. It's 1800 Ma, 7.4 volts. It's a pretty big battery and uh, it should last you a good while while you're out in the field. So that's mainly why I picked this one. It is a little bit on the weaker side. It is more affordable and the plastic is a little bit cheaper than some of the other gel blasters we're looking at today. But the battery is a pretty big battery for a 7.4 volt. So this is an extendable buttstock, which is pretty cool. And it does come off as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next gel blaster. I love the Surge. I just recently got this gel blaster. Now because it is gravity feed, it is very consistent fire. So it doesn't have to pull anything up into the chamber to fire it. It actually drops down in, makes it really consistent. You can change it from fully automatic, three round burst and single shot fire. Uh, the feel of it is really nice. It's made out of a plastic, but it's a strong plastic. You can definitely tell it's a strong plastic. Um, you can change the velocity on this gel blaster by taking this buttstock off and then doing the little screw. Um, I've already done this gel blaster several times. As far as the pain test, it definitely hurts. The FPS is between 230 and 300 FPS. I actually saw a couple over 300. Other than that, this is probably my favorite gel blaster, other than the fact that it has a battery you have to plug into it. So if you run out of battery on this gel blaster, that's it, you're done. All right guys, it's getting a little bit dark out here, getting a little bit late, but I wanted to show you the next gel blaster is the AK-47. This is a banana clip here that the AK-47s are known for. You can hold a lot of rounds in this. I would say probably between 300 and 500 rounds in that magazine clip right there. The battery is 11.1 .1 volts, so it's a little bit more powerful than the other ones. You got the fold open buttstock that clicks in place right there, just like that. You got rails on the top right here that you can put attachments on and then you have a fold up uh, little iron sight here. I'm not actually sure how that works, but you got that iron sight if you want it. It's pretty cool. It's got live action right here. So when you put the magazine in, you're gonna wanna pull that back. I'll show you here. You click the magazine in like that and then you're gonna go ahead and cock that back and it's ready to go. The AK-47 comes in single fire and fully automatic as well. This thing is shooting between 240 and 280 FPS. This is the price that I paid for it right here online and the link is in the description down below. So make sure to check that out guys. AK-47, let's move on to the next one. This week's giveaway is sponsored by Fervent Toys. Fervent Toys was too kind to send me gel blasters just to give away to you guys. It's brand new in the box, never been opened guys. As you can see, it's got shiny plastic around it. All you have to do to win this gel blaster is like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below FE Clan, that's the code word. This is the gel blaster you could have won in last week's video, but instead, this person right here won the gel blaster. Congratulations to you. Message me on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. I'll get back to you and I'll send it to you in the mail. This is an an all metal M4 style gel blaster with two different magazines. This magazine right here probably holds about a thousand Orbeez. I haven't actually counted them, but I know it holds much more than this one. So that is why I chose this one as one of my top picks. It's not only that you can have a high capacity of gelettes, it's that it actually fires really well. It feels like a real gun because it's made out of complete metal, except for the bottom trigger part here. This is nylon. The motor inside of it is actually metal gears and this thing is really awesome it has an adjustable buttstock right here the battery actually fits in right back here if you can see there's like a button type thing right here you push that down and there's one on the other side you pull it out and the battery fits inside here so this is actually an 11.1 .1 volt battery 1100 ma very awesome very sleek looking battery the back just goes back on and clicks in very easily 
Okay, so if, as far as the ammo for this thing, you want it to be between seven and like 7.25 millimeters. So I like to get one of these measuring tools right here. We get the best experience with our gel blasters when we measure the ammo and we actually stay very accurate with it. I know a lot of people will say that airsoft guns, uh, why use gel lats and measure the ammo? That's a lot of work, but you're getting these gel lats for a lot cheaper than you're getting airsoft ammo for. And just a little bit of work, you know, it's a, it's a measuring tool that costs about 20 bucks. This is the ammo that I like to use on the actual M4 here. The stronger gel blasters, I like to use these more firm. These are called ultra elite gel lats and they're more firm. Uh, they're harder to squish in your hand. So like, I'll show you right now, this one, this one I can kind of like squeeze and actually didn't even pop right there. So I'm gonna squeeze. So I actually can't even break. Ooh, it bounced out of my hand. This gel blaster is shooting between 250 and 300 FPS. So it is one of the most powerful gel blasters that you will see in America right now. It is a fun gel blaster. It is a expensive gel blaster, but it is worth it to me.